All right, I survived again another night with the Grizzlies. Now, going to check out Old Faithful. Check it out, Old Faithful erupting. So I came up right, it was erupting and uh, right as I got here, it stopped. So it'll be another 90 minutes, but uh, I got to see it. So over by Old Faithful, there's just a ton of other geysers you can see going around and um, they periodically, they're always steaming, but they'll periodically spit out water. Like I got to see the end of Old Faithful. You couldn't catch in the video, but uh, they'll shoot out water. Some of them, Old Faithful every 90 minutes, some of them every like week or so. So you never know. Well, it's, it's just, each one is different, but there's just a whole field of them. I was going to see the, uh, one of the other geysers, the Daisy geyser and the Grand geyser, but there was a buffalo blocking the path. So the rangers wouldn't let us cross. This is really pretty. Crystal clear, blue. All right, so I am now at the Grand Geyser. It's, it's really starting to bubble, check this out. It's starting to get really steamy. It's still bubbling up a good bit. All right, so it sounds what I was look like what I was looking at earlier was not Grand Geyser, that was Turban Geyser. Grand Geyser is going to be taller than the trees. So, I talked to a ranger and uh, she was saying it it's just it just hadn't gone off yet. Um, but she was giving telling us to look for waves, and that's a sign it should be going off soon. And uh, it's pretty predictable. So hopefully in the next ten minutes, I think it should go off. That is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Look, it's coming out the side now. Wow. Wow, it's really coming out. Look at that. That's awesome. That was really cool. Definitely worth it and uh, definitely better than Old Faithful. At least what I saw at Old Faithful. And I'm pretty confident that it's a, a lot better than, or at least a good bit better than Old Faithful. Old Faithful is just very predictable every 90 minutes. This one, there was a huge window. Some people were there at 9.45 waiting for it and it didn't even go off until 11.45, two hours later. But um, I'm very glad I got to see it. That was pretty epic. Wow, there's Old Faithful. She's gushing a lot of water too. Jeez, that's awesome. This one's just like a jet stream. Look at that. It's just blasting out. Like, very consistent, rapidly. Wow. Check it out. So that wasn't even Old Faithful right there. That was a different geyser. That's Old Faithful, and Old Faithful is now going off way in the distance. And yeah. It's definitely shorter. I don't even know what that was. It's awesome. So it turns out that uh, jet geyser, the one that was like shooting up really uh, strong and narrow, like a, consistently like a jet, that was actually the uh, beehive geyser. And then Old Faithful behind that. So very, very cool. I got to see uh, uh, the grand geyser, the, the world's largest, most predictable geyser, or largest predictable geyser. It's huge. And then uh, the Beehive and then Old Faithful. Now I'm going to check out something uh, called Excelsior Spring and then the Grand Prismatic. 
which uh, I saw in the pictures, just looks really cool with the colors and everything. Um, the crowds have gotten nuts here, like doubled. There's people everywhere and it's lines and it's hard to park. It's like an amusement park here. So depending on what it's like to get to the Grand Prismatic uh, in the Excelsior, we'll see. Check it out, the Grand Prismatic Spring. The sun is not out, but uh, it's still beautiful with these colors. So cool. Wow. Definitely too bad that it's overcast because it shows brilliant colors um, when the sun's out, but it's still really cool. And I got to see the geysers, so I'm not complaining. All right, so that about wraps it up for Yellowstone. Got to see a ton, really. Um, this might, I think this is the biggest national park, it's huge. So I've had a jam-packed day and a half, ton of driving, walking, seeing a ton of stuff, and uh, I pretty much covered the whole park, so. You could spend two weeks here and see everything. I've just done it as fast as I could because I've got to be in July soon for, uh, or I've got to be in Idaho for my wilderness survival course on Monday today's Thursday. So now to the Tetons in Jackson Hole.